Hello, Richard the Dick Coughlin, 666. How are you? And today I want to talk about a subject that we are all, all too familiar with. Everyone's got an opinion of it. Most people love it. Few people hate it. But it's a very divisive issue. I'm of course talking about the one thing that the internet itself was made for. Pornography. <laughs> this is an issue that is obviously going to attract a lot of immature, puerile responses from people and I want you to know I welcome them fully. However, in this video, what I want to do in this video is do something that not a lot of people do when they talk about pornography. I want to deal strictly with just the facts and the figures and the numbers. And at the end of the video, I will then address those figures and numbers in a way that I feel is pertinent to the issue. The numbers and figures I'm about to give you are taken from a 2006 survey. I will leave links to the uh, source for this in the blood job bar. It was a survey that was done in 2006, so the numbers are four years old. However, uh, they're the most recent, and this is the most fully comprehensive survey and research study into pornography itself. Most of these figures deal with internet pornography. However, what you're about to hear is uh, the statistics and the facts and the figures, the numbers that matter when it comes to pornography. Let us begin. Every one second on the internet, the amount of money spent on pornography online is $3,075.64. 28,258 users are viewing pornography. 372 users type the word adult search terms into a search engine. In a different study conducted in the same year in 2006, it was determined that any one given time, on average, online, the amount of internet traffic that is going to pornographic websites is 83%. That means for every six people online, five of them are looking at pornography. So if you're in an internet cafe, I suggest you look around quick sharpish. At this current stage in the world, the porn industry is so large that it actually has a larger global revenue than Yahoo, Apple, Google, Amazon, eBay, Netflix, and Microsoft combined. In the United States of America, a new pornographic video is created every 39 minutes. A lot of these involve people having sex with celebrities who are completely oblivious to the camera being there. The revenue produced by pornography is not necessarily ranked according to the total population of the country. The number one country in 2006 for producing the most revenue from pornography was, interestingly enough, China. However, this is, this is an unusual statistic because in China, pornography is banned, even though China also produces 80% of the world's sex toys. However, number two on the list of revenue for 2006 was South Korea, which is actually ranked 26th in terms of its global population. In the same year, the most popular form of pornography in America was still video DVD sales and rentals, which grossed a total amount of $3.62 billion. Now obviously for the users, the search engines that are available online, Yahoo, Google, are the most popular way of finding any sort of porno pornography you want, whether it's specific or general. But what are the most used search terms for pornography? Well, the number one adult keyword term that is used in a search engine is the word sex, which if typed in will yield 414 million web page results. A lot of lonely people out there. However, when it comes to search engine statistics, the most interesting data comes from looking at the comparison between male and female demographic. For the search engines sex, sexy, group sex, sex ads, and sex chat, and triple X, men and women are equal at 50% typing those in. However, when you get into other keyword searches, it becomes much more interesting. The words adult dating, 36% male, 64% women. There's lots of lonely women out there. Come on, lads! The word porn, 96% male, 4% women. Adult sex, 36% men and 64% women. Teen porn, 82% men and 18% women. Clearly women are much more grown up than men. And the words three porn, 97% by men and 3% by women. Women clearly don't know a bargain when they've got one. But now let's look at the countries that type in certain keywords the most. The top three countries for typing in the word porn are South Africa, Ireland, and New Zealand. New Zealand, the only place in the world that has twice as many sheep as people. Some very lonely farmers, clearly. The top three countries for typing in the words triple X are Bolivia, Chile, and Romania. Hey there. And the top three countries for typing in the word sex are Pakistan, India, and Egypt. 
Interestingly enough, India and Egypt also, like China, have banned pornography. No wonder their economy is in a shit state. The most interesting thing about those three search terms is when you break it down into the cities of the world that type them in the most, the top ten cities in the world for all three of those search terms are American cities. And number one in every one of those three categories was Elmhurst, Illinois. It is almost impossible to fathom the amount of pornography that is on lo available online. And like I said earlier, as the statistics I'm about to give you are four years old, it's very likely they've increased since then. Nevertheless, pornographic websites currently online, 4.2 million. Pornographic web pages, 420 million. Percentage of websites that are actually pornographic, 15%. See, it's not all porn on the internet. The rest of it's search engines trying to find it, apparently. Daily pornography searches worldwide are 68 million. That is one out of every four searches. The amount of people who claim to have got unwanted exposure to porn, who are clearly mythical alien beings since I've never had any unwanted porn in my life, is 42.7%. Every day, each person on the internet receives a pornographic email four and a half times a day on average. Young people who are being solicited by adults in 2006, the statistic was 1 in 7. However, whilst that sounds quite bad, it was down from the 2003 statistic of 1 in 3. And in 2006, the internet pornography revenue was $4.9 billion. The average age that people who are online are first exposed to pornography, the sooner you get them started, the better, quite frankly, is 11 years old. Although, why you would need to watch pornography when you're 11, I don't know. I once got an erection when I had a dream about loft insulation. The age range of the largest consumers of pornography online are 35 to 49 year olds. This is the age category that DPR Jones and the Villainbury fall into. I'm just saying. The amount of men who admit to accessing pornographic material whilst online at work is 20%. And from that statistic we can ascertain that 80% of men are lying bastards. The percentage of Christians who have said that porn is a major problem in the household is 47%. Yes, they're giving out semen when they're giving a sermon. 10% of adults admit to having an internet porn addiction. Now let's talk about women who look at pornography. Women who use pornography but keep their cyber activity secret is 70%. And because they're so secretive about it, they told people about it in a bloody survey four years ago, we can ascertain that at least 70% of women are incapable of keeping a bloody secret. Women who admit to having a porn addiction, 17%, sluts we call them. Almost twice as many women favour looking for partners or sexual activity online in chat rooms. So go on guys, they're there! I don't know about you, but every time I go into a chat room anywhere, it's a complete sausage fest. Where are these women? This study also found out that women are far more likely to act out their cyber online pornographic interest and activity in real life. That explains a lot actually, because my mate once had an Asian girlfriend and he woke up one night she was doing a shit on his head. America, land of the free, home of the brave, and the world's number one producer of video pornography. Also, the world's number one producer of internet pornography. In fact, what I'm about to tell you is possibly the most staggering statistic about all pornography. It's probably the most staggering statistic in America and in the world. The top three countries who produce internet pornography. Number three is the UK. God save the Queen! Three percent of internet pornography. Number four is Germany. Kaiser! Who produce four percent of the world's pornography. And number one is America. God damn! Who produce 89% of the world's pornography. That is a staggering 244,661,900 web pages of porno. God bless that good Christian nation. And between 1998 and 2005, the amount of titles and uh, different types of films being produced rose tenfold for 1,300 being made in 1998, 13,588 being made in 2005. We all know that porno titles will always yield a childish giggle from all of us who enjoy them, at least those who are honest. I've got some for you here, just for the lols. E.T. The Vagina. Shaving Ryan's Privates. Strictly Come Drinking. 28 Dildos Later. 12 Angry Gay Men. 10 Things I Hate About Poo. And that's not all. Batman, Throbbing, and the Poker. Clear and Present Dildos. Diving in Miss Daisy. Free My Willy. And that's still not all. 
Honey, I shrunk your clit. Jurassic pork. Men in black. Women. And Schindler's Fist. That's all. If you have any other interesting ones, please feel free to add them in the comment section below, and I'm sure we'll all have a bloody good laugh at them. That's all the statistics I'm going to go with you for now. There are lots more. Please feel free to check out the links I've left in the below bar, and you can see some more for yourself. Also, feel free to do your own research and find out any more you can about it. I want to make this clear. This video is not a defense of pornography as such, but neither is it an attack. I am by no means a supporter of anti-pornography movements or organizations. Pornography is just naked people doing stuff and looking pretty. I'm all in favor of that. However, I'm not one of these people who's going to delude myself into believing that the porn industry and the sex industry is all rosy and lovely and everything's fucking great. No, there are problems. However, the purpose of this video, if nothing else, should serve as a message to the anti-pornography movement themselves. Because the numbers I have just given you in this video represent one very important thing. And that is the biggest obstacle that any anti-pornography movement or organization face in front of them. Supply, demand, revenue. The porn industry is currently the third biggest industry worldwide, with oil and music as the numbers one and two. <laughs> I said one and two. Now whilst the oil may be running out, the music and the pornography certainly isn't. So we won't have any porn wars at any point. Now if you were to ban pornography, that revenue would be taken out of the economy and it would have to be replaced somewhere. It would need to be put back in because it would leave a gaping hole, a big massive gaping gash would be left in the world's financial markets. And it would be a gash that would have to be filled with a giant big fat throbbing cock of lovely money that would inject a big financial surplus back into it. That's why they call it the money shot. Thank you for watching, Richard the Dick Coughlin 666, good night, may God be less.